what's going on tonight, y'all? So tonight, I come to y'all with a company that I found in Louisiana. Um, I, I saw them a while back, but I don't know why I didn't get them. Um, so I got them. And um, I bring to you Mud Cat Whiskers and the Voodoo scent, but we're doing the beard wash and the beard conditioner. That being said, trying it out, I, uh, I think... Look how, look how thick it is. It's very thick. It didn't fall out of hand. Can't do that with the other ones. Let's get it in. I, um, so using this thick wash, and I used another company that also had a thick wash, and they, um, they're very similar consistencies. Look how it suds up. Very similar consistencies. And um, they smell a lot, a lot alike. But this one, I can pick up the amber and the frankincense in. Um, it's not strong. It smells a lot like the um, the cleaning um, shampoo that we use in it. Oh, man! And um, it goes in thick. It goes in smoothly. It lathers up okay. Not as good as the lighter beard oil um, beard washes that I would normally use, um, and I can see why companies like the lighter beard wash because, for one, it's easy to get them to smell how you want them, and two, they're easier to they're easier to package and move through the beard and whatnot. Um, don't really smell too much of the scent. I can pick up some amber and some of the frankincense in it. But I don't really pick up too much. So we're going with the conditioner now. And I have tried this with beard oil and beard butter. I have also tried this with beard oil and beard balm. Like I do all my um, um, beard washes. This one. This one definitely has the amber and the um, frankincense in it. It's really good. It's a very antique smell to me. Um, but with the beard wash and the beard conditioner, it makes it smell like there's bourbon in there. But I don't, I don't think there is bourbon in the um, scent profile. But the beard wash gets in there and it, it takes out all the oil, all the butter. But what I've been running into with every company I've used that isn't a stripper um, a stripping um, shampoo is that they they lose the balm. Um, it takes a lot of the balm out, but I still notice there is balm in my beard when I'm toward the end. But it's re um, it is a thicker wash. I like the thicker. I like I like having the option. I prefer the thinner wash because I fe I feel like it's more malleable in my beard. Um, I can get it in there easier, but that, that's just my opinion from trying them all, and plus they all smell better. Like the thinner washes smell better. Um, I like it. Um, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 um, overall. Um, overall, 8.5 out of 10, breaking it down with the scent. The scent was an 8. Um, the cleanliness was a 9. Um, uh, yeah, it, and my beard feels nice, soft, and manageable. Cause I have a I have a curly, coarse beard, and that conditioner has it feeling softer. Granted, I didn't leave it in for five something minutes, but with this one, I don't feel like I had to too much, because it feels like it's getting the job done. And for everybody out there, oh my God, he's naked in the shower. Wham bathing suit and oh my god you have to see my belly but that's my cat whiskers I'm gonna get back to you with the butter and the beard oil review well not review opinion who the fuck am I to give a company a review y'all have a good night